Hello, me and Monkey Pie are back. I might actually have better lighting now because the sun has gone down a little bit more and so my ring light's showing up better. I'm gonna get right into this. This is part two, so if you didn't see part one, check it out. Um, fragrances, I'll do fragrances. First of all, I was looking in the mirror. Let me just back on up. I went in there and I was looking in the mirror and y'all can't see that Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife that as good. And it's not anything... I've got it through here. It's not anything that like looks real crazy. It is stunning. Like for real. It Hollywood, it is Hollywood. It is beautiful and I hate that you can't see it. And it doesn't really look yellow. I know right here it's given a yellow cast. It makes your skin look so good. I would go very light with it though. I think I probably maybe overdid it a little bit. But um then I was looking at my face and I'm going to be doing lips. So my favorite, this isn't necessarily new. I've used this for probably six or seven years. And I use other ones too. I like the um, Maybelline and the little square, the powder uh, for touch-up. But this is the Physician's Formula Cover Tox 10. I love this. Watch what it does to my face. I haven't touched my face in almost 11 hours. Uh, except I did put lip stuff on and wipe um, my Ozzy Osbourne eyes some. Hey, it's having God, I've had a million of these. And I usually just will use the puff that it comes in or a puff. But see how like it's not oil. I, I put a lot of I put a lot of moisturizer on my skin and my chin shines anyway. I get up in the morning and my chin's just shining. So I just do this, but watch what this does. Not only mattifies, but it uh it makes your skin just that little bit look to me perfect and i'm not like rubbing like i'm just kind of going over it look at that isn't that crazy and the, and the reason i wanted to, to go over my lips so i could have like a drier i'm probably going to use some of this lip stuff on anyway I always when I do that I have to clean my jewelry off because it looks gross with makeup on it okay 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 I'm, gr I'm rambling Perfume, oh my gosh, you lush people. Look what has come out. Now, I had no idea. I like the, is it Rose, R-O apostrophe S, Argon, I don't know, body lotion, whatever. I like it. Um, it grew on me to the point I got addicted to it. Didn't mean I wore it every day. I always bought the little ones, but I've bought it several times. But this is the Rose Jam Body Spray. This stuff is so good. And I saw a girl, I, I don't know who it was. I was just randomly watching it. It was going to other videos on YouTube. And I was like, get out of here. They got a body spray. And she was talking about how long lasting it was. And it is. It's $39.95, but it's like a 6.7 ounce perfume. And it smells exactly like if you've used the butter, that's what it smells like. Love this stuff. You have to be careful though. This trigger doesn't pull a little bit. It, it goes suddenly and it blast you uh, with a good you know fine spray but but you get blasted so I blasted myself in the store um I mentioned in the video I did about a month ago <laughs> three weeks ago that I was probably going to be getting um the Dolce Gabbana the garden and I did I got it um that same week I think they still had the 20% off or 15% off beauty or whatever um so i've had this for about a month i love this and i bought the set i i don't know if it just had this or if it had a little lotion and it's just a little mini um i love these but i'm always afraid to carry them in my purse because i'm afraid the lid's gonna pop off you know i'm all over the place usually and um but i have used that a couple times too but this stuff smells so, i just don't i don't know why it's called garden because when I hear the word garden and when I saw the word garden, I was like, oh my God, you know, another flower. Um, th this does not smell like the name. This smells better than Flower Bomb. This smells better than La Via Belle. This smells better than Black Opium. But it's not a strong scent at all but it's so good i'm not gonna spray it i'm not gonna spray it because i got some other stuff on my spray what's the matter babe so hello everybody so i'm almost 14 
10, 6 days, I'll be 14, and my mommy's getting me presents. Um, I've already got some. Ah, I ramble too much. Okay, this is new. It's the, you know, the Gwen Stefani Harajiga Lovers. This is the Little Angel. But, you know, they did different renditions of that. Um, can't remember what this one's called. But you can very easily find this on eBay. That's all it says. But I don't think it's the original Little Angel. When Little Angel first came out 12 years ago or whatever. I, lo I love Little Angel, Baby, and G. The original G. Oh my God. Does it comment down below if you ever had any of those? The original G. The G that's out now. They went they did go back and have a coconut G in this form that smells like the first one, but it's not exact. But this is little angel. It's so good. And it's about 98% of the original little angel, if you're wondering. But I don't know how much these are. I don't think they cost that much because I mean you're just getting this, but you know, the the novelty makes it look like you're getting a huge one. So I bought that. Um, okay, some CVSs have these and some don't. So you're going to have to go into the CVSs that when you walk in the door, they have the setup that has all the body sprays and perfumes right here. That, and some are in a glass locked and some aren't. But this is actually by Bodycology. Bodycology Moments. One CVS out of four that I went in had this. And I have another one, too, and I should have brought it in here. But this one's my favorite. It's Beach Blossom and Sea Salt, A Moment of Escape. Ugh. They're $6.49, I think. Totally worth it. The other one that I have, I think, has a yellow label. Can't remember the name of it. It smells kind of like Bobby Brown Beach. This doesn't. This smells more like, um, I would say, the, the Vera Bradley. Um... It might be called beach, but but in a body spray form, this is good, and the yellow one's good too. There's two more, eh? I don't know. Y'all might like them. I mean, I just I just got this one and the one that smells like um, it's kind of like suntan lotion, but this smells like a floral, like I uh, gotta smell it. If you see this, this you gotta smell it. Uh, let's see. I bought this. Since I talked to you guys last, I'm like I got no makeup on now, but I'm telling you that cover talks tin does it. Um, Escada Sorbeto Rosso. I'm assuming that's how you say it. It might be Rosso. Good gracious. This stuff's what, and you know how all the Escadas have that DNA. And they're not the longest lasting perfumes in the world, but my gosh, this is a watermelon perfume. And those that have followed me for a while know I like the watermelon, like the Britney Spears Island Fantasy. I, I got my first part one play, and I'm such a dork. Like, I hate watching my videos. Mm. But this is good. This is real good. And you can smell it for a while. I would imagine other people can smell it on you four or five hours later. I think I lose it after about two or three. Um, who knows? You know, you might be able to smell it longer than that. Where's my box? Okay. I'm going to show you this perfume. i got to do the lippies fast. I'm going to do the lip swatches really fast, okay? Um, and then I have a couple things i got to blame somebody for. YouTube just makes you spend money, doesn't it? Um, this is um, my favorite white diamonds. There's two fragrant, well, three. I like the original white diamonds. I do. Um, from Elizabeth Taylor that I love. I love Elizabeth Taylor Gardenia. And you can buy it all day long in TJ Maxx for cheap. It's good. That is a good perfume. All right, but this is White Diamonds, but this one is the Brilliant White Diamonds, and I saw a girl, and I mentioned it on her video in a comment, and um, she is the only person I've ever seen on, I, I don't, I haven't looked it up. I'm sure there's other people on, on YouTube that's talked about it, but she's the only other person that I've just randomly been watching a video that says they like this. This is amazing, like amazing. But what you find in TJ Maxx is usually sparkling white diamonds or white diamonds. I don't like sparkling, um, but this is brilliant. So, just, and it's in a silver box with like darker silver, like this. The box looks like that. If you get a chance to smell this one, smell it. I don't think it's in the department stores anymore. All righty. I told you guys that I had the Mac Pink. I'm going to tell you the names in just a second. The Jordana Pink. And now I have the Buxom Pink. So, 
which is a little ridiculous. And I also had the MAC Blue and the Jordana Blue, but I can't find my MAC Blue right now. But I'm going to swatch these three, okay? Um, God, might be, this might be a part three. Maybe not. All right. The MAC is Rave Bunny. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's just put some on. Half of my bottom lip. I'm trying not to get it together. Hold up. And it, what are these? These are rather expensive. $22, $23? Mm-hmm. It's higher and higher all the time. There it is. Because I haven't swatched these together. All right, this is the Jordana. It's the only pink one. There's a pink, an orange, a blue, a purple. This is 03. That's all I know. It's pink. It's the only pink one they have. It's in the Jordana display in um, Walgreens. I actually like that better. It's, ah, it's not picking up on camera. It has a little bit more color than what it's picking up on camera, but I actually think I like that better. I'm going to do this side. It's prettier. To me, it's prettier than the MAC. Uh, four ninety nine. When you when they're on sale, they're two ninety nine. You know how many of these I have. But it has a little bit more color, and it's so pretty because the sparklies in it are ha throw a purple cast. And um, oh, let's do the buxom. What is it? I hear you over there. Oh, let's do it here. Ooh, this this might be. All right, this and the Jordana are real close. Look how close they are. And these are expensive too, eighteen twenty dollars. Um, I don't know. I don't think all the Buxons are like this. It has a, like a scoop. Like that is not even a wand. It's a it's a hard thing. This and the Jordana, right here, not right here. Look at that. They're freaking dupes. Now, I would say the Mac's got more color in it. See that right there? It's pinker. Mm. I just wanted, I'm going to do the blue ones. Oh, here's, I'll show you the blue. This is the blue Jordana. And I've got the, uh, the blue Mac. And I have not done a comparison swatch, but I was going to do it on camera. There it is right there. It's a purple with a pink flip. See how that looks purple there? But see the pink? It's real pretty, but the Mac one, we'll, we'll swatch them together. That's going over here with the stuff I've got to do. <laughs> i got a million things to do. I bought this at Sephora when I went the other day. What you whining for? I hear you. And the only other one, this is the Tarte, the C, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. I have the palette that's the three highlighters or four. They're so freaking soft. Love it. Um... I think I, yeah, I bought the facial moisturizer, kind of a gel, love it. What is it, babe? Um, and I have one other lipstick, it's called Sea Light, Salt Life. When I saw this, I was like, no way. And I was like, I can't pull that off. If you put this on lightly, it is gorgeous. Look at this. I was like, ooh. The color reminds you of, um... What was that? Seafloor? Revlon? Oh, Revlon Seafloor. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Color. But it's not, it's got a metallic that's so pretty, but I'm going to put it on lightly. That's real light. But see how pretty? That is gorgeous. I love that. But it looks crazy in the tube. Like, it looks crazy. Seafloor. Was it Maybelline? Was it Revlon? Oh, I don't know. Um, this I bought too. I spent way too much money at Sephora. And I didn't even do, I went the week after the 20%. I mean, I'm like, really? Um, because I could have saved some money. This is YSL. And you know, it's always hard to find what they're called. 26. That's all I know. <laughs> That's all I can see. They look like this. These are new. I know they're new because I've never, look at that color. That's like the color of my, my lips. Let me wipe this off. <laughs> Might be four parts to this one. If there is, I'll do it tomorrow because you're going to be tired of seeing me looking like this. Okay, so this is, this has got a, 
a scoop that what is up with the scoop everything's a scoop now look at this color so I can it's gonna dry a little bit it's like it's like my lip tone but darker deeper so this is almost like honestly like my lips but a, with a little something to it I love it. Oh, I need to watch it. This is so pretty. This is so pretty. These things, YSL is way overpriced. Look at that. Oh, ah! YSL is way overpriced. The colors, not all of them. That, they only come out with about one thing a year that I actually want. Um, I've got one, two. Uh, what time is it? All right, I'm going to do this really quick. These two things, Peter Mons fault addicted addicted um peter mon i'll link him down below is my hero i watch all of his vlogs i watch some of his um regular like the like the gossip drama whatever um not gossip but truth telling <laughs> peter mon is what that one's called and then there's peter vlogs every night i watch peter vlogs and if i'm sleepy and i don't finish or i fall asleep or i don't remember or if it's just really good i watch the same video when i'm getting ready the next morning um peter mon which is you know kind of like sanders kennedy or um love rich lux love rich lux i'm addicted to him too he's so funny i usually comment on all their videos um but he, this is his fault. Okay, so first, um, it was the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Overnight Gel Mask. Um, you you can get two or three uses out of this, but people need to quit saying that because what Neutrogena is going to do is make this smaller. Because <laughs> they're listen, they're two ninety nine at Walgreens. They're three ninety nine at CVS. Just saying, I don't know how much they are at Walmart because I have not seen them in Walmart. And this is the Buxom, and this is the I think it's called Big O. Let me see if I can, uh, yeah, it is called Big O. It's just kind of the clear one. It's got a little, 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 little. When I put it on my lips, it's right here. It's right here. It's clear pretty much, but when I put it on my lips in the mirror and I have nothing on my lips, it makes my lip, maybe it just makes my color pop, but it may, it makes my lips look a little pinker, but this stuff is so good. Um, just look it up on Sephora website or whatever. It's it's just there. There's different colors. I think I want to say four, but this is um this one was actually out, and so I had to order it from another place. On yeah, see that it's turning pink, right here. That's the cut, and it, so it does. And my lips are pink toned anyway, or the hey baby, the little you know whatever, and so it brings that out. I knew it did. I looked down and I was like it turned. A light pink so anyway make sure it looks real good it doesn't plump them it doesn't change them or anything like that make sure it looks feel real good and cool and it's a big bomb I love it um love it so much <laughs> I, sorry I just had to say that how does rich Lux do that I love it so much I don't know but I wish I could talk like him um he, him and Peter Mon are my heroes. I'm going to link both of them down below, but you're going to have to give me a day or two because I'm real slow. Okay, this is Altered Universe Lipstick Queen in the color. I don't know. I can't read it. In this color. It's got to have a freaking name. Space Cadet. And if I've showed you this before, I apologize. It was on a different Sephora trip. But this is so pretty. This is more like what they're coming out with the top coats. It's on the bottom. I hate my neighbor. I hate my neighbor. They're so rude. They're so rude. That's a, that's a story time vlog too. Just a little bit. If you put a lot, it doesn't look good because it kind of makes your lips look white. But if you put a little bit over a color, it looks really good. So this, um, here's the box. They had another one that came out in the, at that time on that set, and I didn't like it. I don't know which one it was. Okay. How many minutes? All right, I gotta do this fast. Okay, I may have also swatched this from, this was a previous, um, within this past month, but this was a different, this is an Ulta. Urban Decay, I believe this is candy something. Candy Flip. 
Yep. What are you crying for? I think I did show this in that video a few weeks ago. It's right there in my wrist. Isn't that pretty? I like to put it on part of my lips so you can... Mmm. That tastes good. <laughs> I guess I haven't worn it enough to realize that it tastes good. It's sweet. It's different. Um, this one, ColourPop, right? My Forte. Why does it rub? Look, that's ColourPop. It rubs right off. But anyway, I'm pretty sure this is ColourPop, but it says nothing on it but my Forte, but I'm about positive I ordered this from, I got this from ColourPop about a month ago. It's at the bottom of my wrist. It's not as glittery as that Space Cadet. It's got, it's more like a, a that color, isn't that pretty? I know I shouldn't have put my lips together, but it's hard to see on my lips at this point, right? My lips probably look better with all, with, without all that. <laughs> um, this is gorgeous. Now, I do have to do something else with this liner or something because it's kind of weird looking um, on its own, but I will do it. Maybe I should tell you what it is. It is Stila. This is my last one. I have um, Bettina. I have Como. I have Bellissimo. This is Dolce Vita. Um, I have like five of these, and they're so good. Dolce Vita. All right, I'm going to try to do this. Only using it. You hear them dogs? That's why I don't like my neighbor, and they're rude. I'll do a story time. It's hard to do because that's not a very good mirror. And this is like a liquid lipstick, so you got to get it right. <laughs> why are you going to be looking all funky? I'm getting ready when I'm done with this video. I'm going up there. You can probably hear my stereo. Ooh. But it's it it thumps their wall until eleven o'clock at night. It's pretty. But you but see what I'm saying? Like it kind of see how different I look with that? I mean, did I swatch it? No. Yeah, I did. I don't know if that's it. I'm such a dork. I told you. Anyway, I think, yeah, I had swat. Anyway, it's right there. That one right there. It's like a muted purple brown. I don't know. But it kind of looks dull if I just have it like that. So, I usually have to, oh, oh, I'll put this over it. Three more things. Oh, my God. Um, eek. This is not open. Why didn't I open this? I have an eek. I don't know what it is. I forgot. Okay, I, what is this? Look, I've got stuff, I don't even know what it freaking is. It's called, um, unless it's a backup. This might be a backup. It's Mermaid, it's Urban Decay, I think. Tart. <coughs> Excuse me. I believe this is a backup. This is gorgeous. It's right there at my knuckle. Look at that. I'm going to do... It's pretty. The lighting's really bad. Let's see if I can... Mm, now a ghost. Um, Two more to show you and I'm done. Oh, hold up. I'm going to try. I have not tried this. I'll have to, get, have to update you. I saw a video where girl was talking about these and she really liked this one and there's another one. This is the Dewy one. It's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer Dewy Luminous. I'm going to try this tomorrow. She had the other one and she said, she said that she liked that one and this one and I was like, Dewy, I'm all about Dewy. So I want to show you that, but these very quickly. Um, Victoria's Secret got them in, sold them out. It's the Hollow uh, Hollow Glow and this is the lilac one. There was only a couple colors. Name holographic ultraviolet. 
um, gosh, it's deja vu. It seems like I said this already, but, um, Jesse's girl used to have one, a flip clear one, like, that was the purple. It's right, where is it? <laughs> I think it's that one. I don't like this color on my lips. I got like three minutes and it's going to cut me off. Ugh. There, Yeah, that was it. Okay. You're not going to be able to see it over this color. I have to hold on a minute. I'll show you what it looks like. I don't like this brown on me. Mm. Okay. Now I would put liner with it, but. really pretty oh so um they did the if it's not in your store they'll ship it to you free but that's it ultraviolet and there's one it kind of looks green or yellow or something i don't know i think that was only those two colors but there might be more now i don't know that not 100 percent on that one in this i don't think our sephora and jc Penney's has this one because i'm crazy about the blue one and then that um really pretty pink one that are in these squeezy tube lip glosses i'm probably not being detailed enough i'm sorry but I've never seen this. I don't know if it's new or if it's just our Sephora. I don't have it. But um, it's, it's their Sephora brand Colorful Gloss Balm and Wonderlust. If this cuts me off, I apologize. Um, I'm going to do my top lip. Oh, my lips are going to be dry. This is so pretty. And it's so pretty over a lip color because it's, it's an opal. You know how like, um, what was it, Becca did the opal gloss? That's kind of the dupe of this. It's at the bottom there. They did the opal gloss, and then they did the opal stick, and I have both of those, but this is like that. I'm not very good at doing this. Y'all using the camera as a mirror. And my lighting is terrible at this point, but look at that at the bottom. Oh, my God. So, um, I'm so sorry this is rushed. When I get everything ready to do a video, I get everything ready to do a video. I've got half the house dragged out in here, and I have a mess to clean up, and it'll take me about an hour to put the stuff up, but, and I know I rushed through it, um, and I know I don't list everything. I am going to list earthandtreasures.biz, uh, on both videos, I will link Peter Mon, Peter Vlogs, and Rich Lux. I'm sure most of you already know about them but um i watch that's honestly that's about all i watch now um i like to i like to listen to um fragrance like top 10 fragrances or you know because i'll just put it on the background and like and listen and there's something catches my ear and i have you know i've never smelled it or whatever i'll kind of write it down like i want to smell the flora botanica i forgot who makes that oh Balenciaga, I think. Flora Botanica. Has anybody smelled that? I've seen several people review that one. Um, and I can't find it. Even the big Sephora didn't have it. Dillard's don't have it. Our Belks don't have it. And I don't want to blind buy it because um, I know Amy loves perfume. I'll have to remember to link her down below too. Amazing. She doesn't do videos. She's like me. She pops out about one a month. But her videos are very informative if you like perfumes, but that was one of her favorite favorite perfumes, but she also said that it's very different, but I think I would probably like it because I believe it's a rose note perfume, so are you pouting? Look, that's when he pouts because he's he was over there whining because he wanted me to pick him up. Come here, boo, and he pouts. I just have a child that pouted like that. Come here, boo, boo. Tell everybody bye. This is, oh no, no porn. Look, say bye. So I will see y'all when I'm 14. Bye. Thanks, guys. Thumbs up. And I'll see y'all later. Bye. Thanks for watching. Oh.